Hello, hello! My name is Snail Legs, and today I will be redrawing old art from 2018. Mm. <laughs> As you can imagine, I've improved a lot since then. The old art is on the left, the new sketch is on the right. Um, we are going to travel back in time now to see my sketching process in the format of a time lapse. Alright, so let's have a chat about, um, well, why did I decide to do this? Why did I decide to draw this picture again three years later? Um, the answer is really, really basic, really simple. Um, I just really like the idea behind it. Like, the original piece isn't fantastic. I love the concept though. <laughs> nice pirate lady on a boat vibing with some birds. Sounds great. Sign me up. I want to draw that shit. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I redrew it. Um, as you can see, as you're seeing right now. Um, and yeah. I guess let's get into the backstory behind this OC of mine. Um, her name is Nez. She's a very old OC of mine, and she's essentially a gay pirate lady who fell in love with a siren. Um, and that's that's the TLDR. That's the TLDR version of who she is as a character and like her lore and shit. Um, but yeah. I, I I really wanted to draw this again because I knew I could do better and if I do say so myself, I, I did do better. I improved a lot. Um, yeah. So, speaking of improvement, what specifically did I try my hardest to improve about this piece? Um, well, the answer is the composition, mainly. Um, my main pet peeve with the original <laughs> is the composition like it has all the elements of a nice drawing has all the elements of a pretty picture it's got like the birds and the character and the the background and and stuff um there's nothing really tying those things together though um they they all feel like i could have just copy pasted random images in and it would have the same effect. They, they feel very disconnected, a bit disjointed. So um, I really tried to kind of strengthen the composition by adding things, little things to kind of join and unify the various different elements of the piece. Um, so you can see her posing has changed and um, the clouds are a lot more deliberately placed to kind of frame the, the character and the birds. Um, the birds are now like actually in contact with the character uh, and the boat and the character, they both have the same perspective now. <laughs> um, that's a big one. If you look at the original, um, you, it looks like you're looking up at the boat and down at the character and that is, that just, the maths doesn't add up. That's not how perspective works, um, sadly. But yeah, so those are that was the main thing I I was working on improving, like my main focus when I was drawing. But it did lead to me kind of trying to improve the other elements as well because everything adds up to create the composition, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, so we're we're kind of nearing the end of my sketching process here. Uh, you're about to see me start on the line art and um yeah that was another thing that i've just improved on a lot since the original uh my confidence has gotten better my line quality in general has massively improved um they're just a lot smoother and more confident and i i really much prefer the texture and line weight of my current line line art style um, to the old one because yeah if you look at the old one um, unfortunately a lot of the lines they're very pieced together you can tell it took me multiple strokes to draw one single line uh, and there's there's not a lot of use of pen pressure the textures kind of fuzzy kind of boring not very crisp um, and yeah I I just tried my best to do a good job lining this piece and there were a couple details that I wasn't quite sure how to depict, how to like finalize, but I think I got there in the end. 
Uh, I'm not not a big fan of the way I did the um, neckline for her shirt, but I can improve on that next time, you know? I'm sure I'll want to revisit this again sometime. <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah. So speaking of the neckline of her t-shirt, you may have noticed that I did, in fact, redesign this character's outfit. Um, she's now wearing more interesting clothing in my opinion, I just, I like it more. <laughs> um, I couldn't really make much sense of the outfit she had on in the original and I, I felt very strongly that I would be able to make her look more piratey if I changed her costume, so I just kind of quickly re redesigned her costume, uh, trying to tie in some elements from her many previous costumes and outfits. Um, I don't know if you saw, but in the sketching phase I had a bunch of references of old art of her up, up top of my canvas, and yeah, it, it made kind of like reinterpreting her design a lot easier because man she's been through so many redesigns already <laughs> um i was able to just just borrow some of my old ideas it, it worked out great in my opinion uh and yeah so when we're nearing the end of the lineup phase now i think all that i'd i left that bird for last because honestly i was a bit intimidated by the prospect of having to draw bird feet like, you can see even in the original I didn't draw bird feet, because bird feet are difficult to draw. <laughs> um, and like the fool that I am, I, I have a very bad habit of just drawing everything from imagination. Um, and I, I've gotten good at it, but <laughs> sometimes, you know, it helps to use actual reference images. That's my tip for you. You don't be like me. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Um, use reference images when you're drawing, it will help. I, I promise. <laughs> Every time I've used a reference image, I've been like, Oh! That made everything so much easier! Uh, why don't I do this all the time? And then, it, it will then, after that, be like, quite a while until I draw with a reference image again and I'll have the same, the same reaction. Um, but anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. Um, yeah, we're 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 in colouring now, so I I'll, I want to have a have a little chat about the colours. Um, and if you look at the original, colours are a bit muddy. They're they're a bit muddy, and um, the shading and lighting doesn't make very much sense at all. Like it's it's quite. You can tell I wasn't very confident about it because I did this thing that I liked to do back in 2018 where I'd shade something, decide uh, there's something wrong with this but I, I, I've already drawn it, I don't want to figure out what's wrong with it. Um, so I would just kind of like use the airbrush use the airbrush eraser and I'd fade out my shading so that it would be less noticeable what I've done wrong. Um, <laughs> because I didn't know what I'd done wrong. Um, so I just faded it out and it, it didn't really help my case, I don't think. Um, would recommend just kind of, if you need to redo the shading, <laughs> redo the shading or do some studies of like different lighting and stuff, um, because it is important to get your shading and lighting correct if you're doing colors um, and you have like shading and lighting, uh, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and of, of course I'm not saying it's perfect what I've done here in my redraw, but it's definitely much improved from the original. Like, it's it's a clear light source, that is the sun, that is directly behind her and the bird, and um, yeah, the, the shading is a lot bolder, even though I, I did have to wrestle with it quite a bit to pick a shadow colour that I was happy with. Because um, I wanted the shading to kind of reflect that it's a blue sky, it's like midday in this artwork. Um, but at the same time, I I really like pinks and purples for my shading, so I really struggle to shade in blue now. And um, yeah, 
now you, now you can see me experimenting a bit with the different effects. I was like, ooh, let's try some color correction. Let's let's, let's try some like funky filters and stuff. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we're nearing the end of this speed paint, and yeah, I'm I'm really happy with the final piece. I it it makes me want to write about this character again and like draw her and yeah i just i like it i like how it came out i think i did good um <laughs> so that's the end of the video thank you so much for listening to me ramble on about my old art and my new art and my old ocs and redrawing stuff um i hope to see you next time 